someone that tends to get their arms away from their body, normally going up too high and then coming down across and the arms are very separated, we'll try this. Get your driver head cover, pop it under your left arm, the mainstream swing's going back, right, and you'll really feel a better connection between your arms and your body. Give it a go. Do you struggle with a slice, or do you generally just struggle to get the ball going where you want it to go? First thing you should check is your grip. If you have less than two knuckles showing on your left hand, you've probably got that in a weak position. Bring that left hand over until you can see at least two knuckles. If your right hand, you can't see the V between your thumb and finger, then bring that right hand back to the right until you can see that V of your thumb and finger pointing up to your right armpit. If you get those two positions with your left and your right hand correct, you're going to start to see a much better control on this front face. Hit much more solid shots and hit them much more on target. Do you struggle with weight transfer? In your golf swing, are you someone that takes the club back as they bring it back to the ball, they lean back onto their right foot? If that's you, try this drill. All I want you to do is get yourself into the setup with the ball, get your right foot back to normal place, bring your left foot back to your right foot, make a back swing, step in, turn and hit. And you'll start to really feel how you can plant your left foot better, and that's going to really help with your weight transfer. Do you have a good grip, but you still struggle to hit the ball out to the right? Check your wrist positions. So, get yourself on camera if you can, or a friend watching. Make a back swing to the top and get them to check your left wrist. If you have a really excessive cupping in that left wrist, it's going to open that club face and make it much more likely that the club face is then open in impact. Get yourself to the top, try and feel like you rev the bike with your left hand so you're bowing this left wrist. Think Dustin Johnson. Keep that feeling all the way down into the ball, you'll have a much better squared up club face because you are closing that face on the way down rather than opening that face on the way down. So get yourself to the top, bow that left wrist and swing down and start to see that ball flying much straighter with a much better feeling contact. See you next time.